Archaeologists have discovered something that could cause official history to be rewritten. The pyramids in Russia are older than the ancient Egyptian ones. Unique DNA in alien mummies. Mysterious ancient idol and dinosaur tracks next to rock paintings. You have to watch this video to the end. Hi friend, you are on the Kurtop channel. Treasures of Ancient Burials at the Northern Taosi Cemetery in Shangxi, China, archaeologists have discovered unique bronzes and burials dating back to the spring and autumn periods 770-481 BC, a key era in Chinese history. The first mention of the cemetery appeared in 2014 after the arrest of tomb robbers. New excavations have uncovered five tombs from this era associated with the Spring and Autumn Chronicles, a historical text attributed to Confucius. One of the tombs, designated 2015-M1, contained various bronze objects including tripods, cauldrons, mirrors, and bells. Burials of a man and a woman were also found in a chamber with two-story platforms, decorated with funerary gifts. These finds have characteristics associated with the Jin Dynasty and demonstrate connections to Chu and Kilu culture, highlighting the cultural and technological interaction of the regions. Russian Pyramids If you haven't seen it in person, you've probably heard about the greatness of the Egyptian pyramids on the Giza Plateau. This architectural ensemble, which has delighted the world with its splendor for centuries, is considered one of the most monumental. But Russian researchers have proposed an alternative, pointing to the existence of even older pyramids in Russia, covering areas from the Kola Peninsula to the Black Sea. The first discovery of such pyramidal structures occurred on the Kola Peninsula in 2001, the dating of which indicated an age twice that of the Egyptian counterparts. Subsequent discoveries confirm the artificial origin of these pyramids, built between 9,000 and 40,000 years ago. In 2010, researchers discovered another ancient pyramid, indicating similar construction techniques to Egyptian and Chinese structures. In the Krasnoyarsk region is Sapka Chernaya, an extinct volcano nicknamed Pyramid for its triangular shape with man-made masonry, discovered in 1993. In Rostov-on-Don, there is the Sanctuary of Arius, a unique structure that predates the Egyptian pyramids by a thousand years and was built according to the principle of the Golden Ratio. Crimea is especially rich, where in 2001, seven pyramids were found located in a line between Sevastopol and Foros supposedly 2,000 years older than the Egyptian ones. Their architecture is reminiscent of Tibetan and Mexican pyramids, indicating the existence of an ancient, advanced civilization. It's hard to believe that the Egyptian pyramids are not as ancient as we were previously told. Also, such finds confirm that the Egyptians were not the first to create such grandiose structures. Until now, humanity is racking its brains and trying to understand why people in ancient times built pyramidal structures all over the globe. Paziric Pile Carpet The discovery of the Paziric Carpet in 1949 in one of the mounds of the ancient Paziric culture on the territory of the Altai Republic became a real sensation. Not only is it the oldest known pile carpet, but it is also a priceless historical artifact that demonstrates the excellence of the art of the time. The find was made by an expedition of the Institute of Archaeology of the USSR Academy of Sciences under the leadership of Sergei Rudinko. The study of the mounds of the Paziric culture began in the 19th century. After discovering the carpet, archaeologists conducted a thorough stylistic and artistic analysis of it. Everything from yarn to weaving techniques was studied. Comparison of the details of the carpet with the known ornaments of art objects of that time allowed us to draw a conclusion about its non-Altai and most likely Western or Central Asian origin. Rudenko also noted that already in the Achaemenid era, pile carpets were produced in Persia, which were used not only in everyday life, but also as a symbol of power and wealth, which emphasizes their significance in the culture and art of that time. Dinosaur Footprints in Rock Art the scientific community encountered an unusual discovery in northeastern Brazil where they found a unique juxtaposition of dinosaur tracks and ancient petroglyphs. In the state of Paraiba, in the Cerote do Latreiro region, researchers discovered fossilized imprints of theropods, sauropods, and iguanodonts from the early Cretaceous period, as well as pre-colonial cave paintings. This unique site brings together ancient traces and art, creating a symbolic connection between painting and fossils. Previously, petroglyphs were also found near dinosaur tracks, but not in such close interaction. 
Researchers believe that ancient artists deliberately chose places near ancient footprints for their drawings. This emphasizes a deep perception of the connection between art and natural phenomena. Petroglyphs, which previously received less attention, are now being studied in conjunction with ancient traces. The rock paintings are circular figures with radial lines and other geometric motifs, the meaning of which remains a mystery. Among the designs, images reminiscent of nets, stars, and snakes stand out, indicating a variety of styles and possibly the presence of several authors. The Most Inappropriate Animal of the Ancient World Bonacon, the beast of medieval bestiaries, caused wonder and laughter with his unusual abilities. This creature mentioned in ancient texts spewed fire from its backside, burning its pursuers. The idea of the Bonacone has attracted attention for over a thousand years, starting with Pliny the Elder, who described it under the name Bonassus. This mythical beast with the mane of a horse and the body of a bull used an unusual form of defense by throwing dung over a long distance. Aristotle, having laid the foundations of zoology, also mentioned this animal under the name Minoapos, indicating its habitat in Paeonia, a region north of Macedonia. The uniqueness of Minoapos lay in its ability to throw excrement with such force that it could form a protective wall around females during childbirth. The question of the real prototype of these creatures remains open. Researchers suggest that encounters with wild bulls such as aurochs or bison could be behind the legend. However, the fantastic details inherent in the stories of the Bonacon, like many other medieval myths, may have been the result of misunderstandings or jokes of ancient observers who sought to surprise or amuse their contemporaries. Worth its weight in gold. Mexican scholars recently invested 9.5 million pesos in acquiring three unique documents from the late 16th century. This investment opened a new page in history, providing valuable information about the period of the Spanish arrival in the lands of modern Mexico. We are talking about the Codex of San Andres Tetepilco, compiled at the turn of the 16th and 17th centuries, which vividly illustrate the events of that time, including the reign of Itzcoatl, the fourth ruler of Tenochtitlan and founder of the Aztec Empire, and the arrival of Hernán Cortés. These rare codices were purchased for the National Library of Anthropology and History through the efforts and support of individuals and organizations. A payment of 9.5 million pesos allowed them to be returned from private hands to the public domain. The analysis showed that the codices were created from amate, traditional paper made from tree bark with the use of natural dyes, which emphasizes the high skill of their creators. The authenticity of the documents was confirmed through collaboration with experts from various scientific institutions. The San Andres Tetepilco Codices stand out among other artifacts because of their unique combination of indigenous traditions and European influences, containing texts in Nahuatl and Spanish written in the Latin alphabet. This treasure provides an opportunity to delve deeper into the study and understanding of a key period in the region's history. Idol of Gorbanovsky Peat Bog the Gorbanovsky peat bog, located in the Urals, is an outstanding monument of the Paleolithic and Bronze Age, becoming the first archaeological discovery of its kind in Russia. On the site of the modern swamp, there was once a lake, on the shore of which people built platforms, leaving behind dwellings, tools, and vessels. Over time, the area became swampy, but this did not stop people from settling the territory, which is confirmed by finds of coal chips. Among the unique artifacts found here was a boomerang and a wooden idol carved from a pine trunk with a disproportionately long body and a detailed head, making it different from other finds. This idol, discovered under the wall of the excavation, is now kept in the Nizhny Tagil Museum. In addition, an idol head with primitive processing and another idol with a simplified body shape were found, both of which are now in the collection of the State Historical Museum. These artifacts demonstrate particular care in the manufacture of objects of everyday use and accuracy in depicting the forms of animals and birds. Anthropomorphic images, however, are made crudely and schematically, which may be associated with ancient beliefs about the depiction of the spirits of the dead. It is assumed that due to the fear of connecting a spirit with its image, wooden sculptures were made conventional and deliberately unrealistic. This approach to creating human images testifies to the deeply rooted traditions and beliefs of the ancient inhabitants of the Urals. The Mystery of the Alok Icom Monoliths in the south of Nigeria, in the state of Cross River, about 300 stone monoliths were discovered. 
created from the 16th to the beginning of the 20th century. These monoliths, arranged in circles and made of volcanic stone, surprise with their diversity. Their height varies from 0.3 to 1.8 meters. What attracts the most attention is the unique carvings on their surfaces, which include repeating patterns, stylized faces, and mysterious inscriptions that may be an ancient form of writing. The local Ekoi people call these stones Atol or Akwanshi. Distributed among 30 communities, the monoliths often form perfect circles, becoming the centerpiece of settlements or the decoration of forested areas. Made primarily of basalt, the monoliths also include limestone and sandstone specimens, all carved with distinct human features and symbols reflecting tribal affiliation. These monoliths carry a deep meaning associated with the cult of ancestors. According to local beliefs, each monolith symbolizes an ancestor whose soul continues to dwell in the stone, connecting the living with the spirits of the departed. This tradition maintains connections between generations and maintains respect for the history and culture of the Ekoi people. However, the monoliths are surrounded by many mysteries. Their exact history, the meaning of the symbols printed on them, and the purposes of their use have not yet been revealed. Despite many years of research, ancient inscriptions on stones remain undeciphered, posing a challenge for archaeologists and historians. The monoliths are currently under threat from weather, erosion, and vandalism, making their conservation a global concern. Wrecked Steamboat Under a Cornfield In 1988 in Kansas, underground at a depth of 15 meters, treasure hunters discovered the sunken steamship Arabia, which had been resting under a layer of earth for as long as 132 years. Built in 1853, the steamship was a symbol of American enterprise and engineering prowess, but its career on the waters was short-lived. Arabia would have sailed even on the sands of Arabia, so went the saying, emphasizing the reliability of the ship. However, the dangerous waters of the Missouri became fatal for it. During a voyage in 1856, the Arabia encountered an underwater obstacle and quickly sank, although all passengers and crew evacuated safely. The ship and its rich cargo remained underwater and although in later years there were rumors of treasure on board, including whiskey and expensive porcelain, no serious attempt was made to recover it until earthly processes buried the Arabia under layers of sand and clay. The story was revived at the end of the 20th century when a team of enthusiasts, led by the Hawley family and their partners, decided to discover and raise the sunken steamship. After careful study of maps and historical records, they found the place where Arabia was buried. Using modern technology, the team conducted an extensive excavation and discovered not only the steamship, but also its remarkably well-preserved cargo, representing a valuable cross-section of American life and culture at the time. Among the items found were shoes, cosmetics, tools, medicines, luxury glassware, alcohol, and much more. All this provided an invaluable insight into the daily lives of people of that era. The recovered artifacts and parts of the ship itself later became the basis for the Arabia Museum in Kansas City, which opened in 1991 and is home to the largest collection of antebellum items in the United States. The Secret of a 4,000-Year-Old Artifact in 2001, the archaeological world was puzzled by the influx of unique antiquities on the antiques market. Jewelry, weapons, and ceramics with exquisite designs and inlays appeared out of thin air, raising questions about their origins. The works, which featured complex symbolism, were attributed to Central Asia, but it later turned out that they were not fakes. An investigation in Iran in 2002 revealed the mystery of these finds. Arrests of traders led to the discovery of the artifact's location in the Khalil River Valley, where a flood in 2001 revealed an ancient necropolis from the Bronze Age. Local residents began selling artifacts, thereby revealing the existence of a previously unknown culture. Archaeologists were amazed by the scale of the discovery and began to study this place, excavating the main necropolis of Matutabad and two mounds, south and north Konar Sandal, while discovering the remains of ancient buildings and evidence of a highly developed civilization. In 2003, under the leadership of Yusef Majidzadeh, systematic excavations began, which lasted several years and revealed amazing artifacts and evidence of the existence of an ancient city here. Debate continued 
continues about the origins and significance of the Yeroft culture. Some scholars consider it to be the legendary errata of Sumerian texts, while others suggest an association with the ancient kingdom of Marhashi. Despite differences of opinion, the excavations at Yeroft have provided invaluable information about the ancient civilization, leaving much room for further research and discovery. Unique type of DNA in alien mummies. Three-fingered mummies have been discovered in Peru, establishing themselves as something beyond our world. The creators of the documentary, Serena DC and Michael Mazzola, announced the presentation of unique evidence of the existence of humanoids. The remains found in the mountain mine, according to documentarians, are not a fake and contain DNA that is not similar to the known forms. American scientists in Mexico and Peru have conducted research, the results of which refute the claims of the Peruvian authorities about mummies as a tourist attraction. According to the filmmakers, the discovery could rewrite the history of mankind, becoming comparable to the discovery of the Shroud of Christ or the Ark of the Covenant. The documentarians are convinced of the need for scientific DNA analysis to understand the origins of creatures that are more than a thousand years old and whose DNA is 30% unknown, indicating possible genetic manipulation. The film suggests that the mummies could be evidence of a new species or even extraterrestrial origin. The creators plan to show images and research results live from the laboratory, calling for a serious scientific analysis of the discovered remains. What are the Mouth of Truth silent about? The Mouth of Truth, Boca de la Verita, is an ancient marble sculpture depicting the deity of the ocean and dates back to the first century AD. With a diameter of 1.75 meters and a weight of 1,300 kilograms, this relic may date back to Roman times, serving as a manhole or element of a fountain given the tradition of depicting river gods on such objects. Over time, this sculpture has turned from an ordinary architectural element into a mysterious object surrounded by mystical legends. The story of its ability to cut off the hand of a liar became especially famous. According to one legend, a woman accused of infidelity managed to save her hand, loyalty, and honor using cunning and feminine deceit. The first mention of this artifact dates back to the 11th century, and it received its current location near the Church of Santa Maria in Cosmodin after being moved in 1631. But Mouth of Truth was brought worldwide fame by cinema, in particular the film Roman Holiday, where Gregory Peck and Audrey Hepburn experienced the magic of sculpture, turning it into a symbol of Rome and a source of inspiration for many cultural works. Today, the Mouth of Truth is considered not just an ancient artifact, but also the most photographed sewer in the world, attracting thousands of tourists who want to test the ancient belief for themselves. In a previous video on my channel, I talked about unusual archaeological discoveries from the Second World War. These discoveries have the potential to rewrite the history of that time. I highly recommend watching it if you haven't seen it yet. See you in new videos.